Boka ite abamba. Omo no wero nje pare na ali boy. Ite dese lune lego ime chito no. Eku ba koko ego. Miku rese lune lego imani bino beko ba. Onye bini kwe chine mere muma. Abo nye hiri papa keli kwe.
Hello. Hello. Let's to go down soon. Let's to go down soon. Yeah. Yeah. Those things that are that are coming.
and the whole of this compound in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, 
from different parts of the world. It is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. We welcome every one of us to this service of song and wake keep in honor of our beloved father, mentor, counselor, husband, and so many things to so many people. We welcome all of us to this service of song. And we please pray that all of us will actively participate. Those of you that are still standing, please, we have enough seats. And we, we want the atmosphere to be solemn and orderly. We want the atmosphere to be solemn and orderly. And we dedicate this place and the whole environment for this service. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God's servant, the minister in charge of the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria, Iyoji Parish, the Right Reverend Sunday, Ina, will lead us in the opening prayers. People of God, can we rise to our feet and pray? Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. And power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are, and well created. Thou art worthy, Lord, thou art worthy, O Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for a day like this. Amen. It is a day of testimonies. Thank you because of the people you have brought here safely from their different destinations. It is only by your power and wisdom that this can happen. We hand over this evening into your hands. For Bible says that whatever is handed unto you, you will keep. You will preserve. You will direct us in everything we are going to do this evening. To the end, when we have finished, we will say all glory and honor to you. Forgive us where we have not done it well. We ask, O oh God, that your presence will overtake and overwhelm this environment. Is there anybody that came with sickness? Lord, by coming together, we declare healing upon that person. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let it not be an ordinary barrier. Let it be a barrier that good things will result. Anybody that comes into this place, let him or her contact grace. 
grace enough to survive and to live. In the name of Jesus, everything that shall be done in this place, let it be done according to your dictates. That at the end, O oh God, we will say all glory and honor and thanksgiving be unto you alone. We are mere mortals. Most times we don't get it right. We ask, O oh God, that you who knows how to do things right, guide us and direct us. That at the end, we will say, God has led us thus far. All the people that you are going to use, pass through them, just as medium, and exalt yourself. That at the end, O oh God, we will all go home rejoicing. Thank you, O oh God. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. We ask, O oh God, that the blood of Jesus shall speak and avail for us. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. This whole burial program is titled Celebration of a Life of Service. It's a celebration of a life to a life lived to the glory of God. And so I'm going to invite all of us to again stand on our feet and worship and dance and praise God. Just for a few minutes in honor of our father, Elder Senator Anim Chuku Ude. We would like to praise God and we would like to invite the Lamb to lead us in a deep moment of praise and dance and worship. Let's celebrate the life of our daddy. Everybody, you're going to dance. You're going to celebrate. You are a mighty God, the great. We say, Hallelujah! Oh, Hallelujah! You are a mighty. You are a mighty God. A popular song we are going to sing to this Jesus. We say, Jehovah Buchi Nakin, on your moon, they think. See, I didn't want to tell no one or Kaka. As it should be the Bube, I want you to tell me I worship this God. What if I know? Come on, See Jesus who did the move. He 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 did
Can you put your hands together to Jesus? To honorable Jesus, he will. He will. Jesus, I see Mutiku Naza, maybe. To put a head of your belly. To go to the Jesus, you see the 
Celebrating a fulfilled life. Life that has made impact in this village, in this state, in this nation, all over the world. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We would like to take two or three or four brief testimonies about the life of our father, how he has impacted us differently. So please, um, we would like to know, those who would like to share testimonies for two or three minutes about our father, please, we don't have any particular order. Anyone who would like to speak, please just indicate either by raising your hand or writing your name on a piece of paper and giving us just three or four, just three or four testimonies. Please, as I call the first person, others who want to give tribute, because tomorrow there may not be much chance. In tomorrow's service, there may not be much chance for us to talk. So if you want to say something, uh, would like you to either indicate by raising your hand or you write your name on a piece of paper and give us so that we'll call you and you will share your testimony.
Uh, let us take the first person. Elder Ajale. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Elder Evonbo, Elder Honorable Chibu Isi Ajale. Biko Iwe Welunu, only a special request. Madam Bungunya Na Ario. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh, Biko Munguzolebe, De Kufuta, Ede Machineke, Nan Ede Ma Nai Lauro Mobo, Elder Senator Anim Ude, Kembo Bulachineke Keria Kechaye Kecha. Were a Maria Zoyo Keleho. Ke Boburu la Obidoro O Ozia Lije Ozichineke Ruo Ale. Yafu ndi bialenya. Yafu kwa o haleze lenya. Yafu rio tu ofu bata lebe mbuyoji. Nana mozo. Ya wuria ifu lenya bebe jera yozi lanzuko church. That live lile mbongalaba. Lanzu Ko Church, Lord Nerindi Ome Baragive. Kembo Bola Oboro Lam Yi Uniform Odo Rondena. Bebe Unavo Ivo Merenye Ndena. Ome Kwaria Nye Ndine. Ome Kwaria Nye Ngalabanile Nde Lanzu Ko Christ. Ken Kanke, Lo Kapa Imive Imerendi Yoji. Ya Bia Roroha Olo Church. Mebe Obibi Onyu Kochuku. Mebe Ayefe Ufufero. Mondia si la naipu mboru para olo nyefe ya ndi yojileka the prelate most reverend obong osong bia wari ya nyefe chine keleka eliwe da kutra le mbochiwa ayi nodulebe silifu lenye ya baburuburu leba ilile no nye ono duo loburu rime chichai ayasi chine ke ya tombaro bochiyono la ili abutuba Lihi lamba digenya ai biara nwe presbytery ke naiku bo right reverend Sunday ina kalo boro moderate akese bro presbytery mundi acho sam kare asia lo kwa nwero nwe livir woro kembe biaje imezu be meje imelam nkare otem de kare akpo phone si long ya utai too much mundi asi chineke ya na ramkuro bi era ndokwa hallelujah amen Biko kai kusina ra ya kike. Oto ni sina digi mfe poteba. Amamu mwenye zangu ni hani ku. We are trying to make it snappy. Mwenye zangu ni hani ku. Hallelujah. Dadim. Mwa hofa father Abraham because so with so many sons and daughters which I am one of them. He's a good mentor. He's a father. You know, all there be major. You could hold that. You say, "Am I long? Am I long? Am I your dear Lord Dere Lama?" He really instilled the fear of God to those that are close to him. He taught us to follow the right way. I live. We are so many that lived with him, which he trained, and God have used him to make us what we are today. So we can never forget him. He's our daddy. Wherever he is, I'm sure that the angels are smiling because even in heaven, he's there to do a lot. Hallelujah. So he's an angel watching over both his... Then you don't know who, who are the biological or not. Everybody is being treated alike. He will just say, you don't do this. He will just say, you don't do this. He will praise you to encourage you. Man, see that God will bless him and his family. And also, you know, keep us safe that are still here and help us to follow his way so that even when the trumpet shall sound, we will also make it as he did in Jesus' name. Somebody praise the living God. Hallelujah. Acham 
Maka madini na neba wongo. Maka na elder chief senator animude ongura ngoma na odendo. Odendo maka na obu nwoke biri ezindo is a man of transparency. O nwoke obi oma ofu ihe ndi we mara ya bu na oforu ndi chineke na anya. Onye obu na abu onye ozi chineke. Mi dinta ni me chineke. Mi duku one nyonya ho respect. Mbe my husband ibu ordinary evangelist. Ama mo to si we ne nye ya respect no lawyer. Obu to si we ne lekota ezi no nom. Ne lekota dim. Obu na dim be dimu banyere theological school. He paid his school fees. Kana kukwa keba. No di rizi. Opura soso di mkokulu school fees na theological school. So many ministers of the God kona kuru kwa school fees. O ihe merenu di mbwonye da. Be because of otuwa siwefu no mbwonye na atuwe guchineke. No mbwonye furu chineke nanya. No mbwonye ne respect indozi chineke. Owe banya first son ya. Hallelujah. Daddy, you can't get your name, Josie, and you know, Nanny. On our Purundi, and when you call her, you go to the hospital. Then your pressure will be on one. He foot all my bills in the hospital. And I'll go back. Even at St. Peter's. Even if you want a man at St. Peter's. On a lekata, in the CJT. On a lekata, in the Paipan. Mandine, on a bon way, Rego. Nyendine, Kai, when a meju. We're not qualito wani. In short, and say can call we had that din a merende mado. Why you wanna luni me chineke? You man a chile na chigeji na chigabo. Ina nanya mango buna daddy no na can reach in a kenna. Na sonya mereya or we josia well luzienya or we run to po kekene can saporo ki chisi there na ni jova na Jesus. Hallelujah. Ana me na onyo so ge kwoku ge kuziri na church. Biko kai were one minute bi le oto. Just one minute. I bi le oto na roju. Onye wani ai ne kelege ni hindo na omu na bu ba amanke ndo nkoruge. Ai rara nkoro bi ya nye fege na ka ge onye ne debe ihe. Debeya, we nam do big baby. Now had Jesus Christ the bunny one. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I go up one hotel, I give you metonic sort. That is Job chapter Bible lesson. Bible lesson. Job chapter fourteen, from verse one to fourteen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May we turn our Bible to the book of Job. Job chapter 14 from 1 through 14. Hear you the word of the Lord. Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He flieth also as a shadow, and continueth not. And dost thou open thy eyes upon such an one, and bringeth me into judgment with thee? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean, unclean? Not one. 
seeing his days are determined, the numbers of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as an a highly his days. For there is hope of a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout up again and that the and that he and that the render and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof was old in the earth, and the stock thereof died in the ground, yet through the scent, scent of water it will bud and bring forth brutes, boots like a plant. But man died and wasted away. Yea, man giveth up the ghost. And where is he? As the waters fell from the sea, and the flood decayed and dried up, so man lieth down and riseth not till the heaven be not more, be no more. They shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret until me, until the wrath be passed, that thou wouldest appoint me a, a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Here ends the reading of this day. May God who is worthy bless the reading of his holy word now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. This rain that we are having is shower of blessing. Shower of blessing. And so let all of us relax in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We are going to listen to the word of God just briefly just briefly let us pray Aina Soprogi Ezi Chineke Gi Onye Okuyane Nyendo Aina Soprogi Gi Onye Meriri Ong Dika Aina Genti No Kugi I na ro chine ke kime he obi ai kime he kwa okugi nyai ko okugi ai ga nuno ga ko ari wetaranyi omuma ipe kama ko wetaranyi ndu ebigebi na ha jesus hallelujah um I just want us to meditate briefly on two verses from the place that we just read as our lesson for this wake up service. By the way, I want to observe that um, if you have followed the sequence of events for this whole funeral program. The way everything has been going, 
you will confirm that our daddy indeed was a man of God. This service we are having now and this brief exhortation that we are having now so far is the fourth service in the series of events. Last week, Tuesday, we had a service in, the, in Abuja. There was a sermon. The word of God was preached. On Tuesday, we had a service in Abakleke. The word of God was preached. Today in the afternoon, there was a, a service in Abakleke. The word of God was preached. And this evening, we are gathered again. And we are meditating on the word of God. I believe that even through these funeral programs, people's lives are being transformed. People's lives are being challenged to live, to serve God, to be totally dedicated unto God. Now, Eba Igoro na Job isiri na no amoku nke mbo na amoku nke em iri na no verse 1 said man that is born of a woman is of few days and they are full of trouble hallelujah Please, I would like us to pay attention to what I would just say for these um, five, ten minutes. Let us not be too familiar with the word of God. We are not preaching to fulfill formality. We are preaching to pass a message. I think everybody in Nigeria now should listen to that Job chapter 14 verse 1. Everybody in Nigeria, Madeline in Nigeria, we were. Questioning again to your former, na Job, Isiri na no, Amoku Kembo. He says, "Man that is born of a woman is of few days." I'm hearing people talking as I'm preaching. He says, "Man that is born of a woman is of few days." And those days are full of trouble. The reason why I said everybody in Nigeria should meditate on that verse is because there is trouble in Nigeria. Right now, there is real trouble in Nigeria. And this trouble is affecting everybody. And I want us, just by the way, to understand from this scripture... That whatever trouble you are going through, whatever challenge you are going through, in your life, in your family, it is not something abnormal. Job says, if you were born of a woman, in this life, you will go through trouble. So, anybody in Nigeria now, no matter the kind of trouble that you may be going through, no matter the challenge you may be passing through, there is nothing strange happening to you. Troubles are part of life. So let us not bemoan our situations too much. Let us not commit suicide. Let us not be frustrated. Let us not be over depressed even with the condition of things in Nigeria. But I want to stress more on verse number 14. Verse 14 says, If a man dies, shall he live again? If a man dies, shall he live again? This is a question that um, theologians have been trying to answer. 
philosophers have been trying to answer. Job is here in a normal open care, here in a no. Also, all put in a mad and war, or garden doors. Hallelujah! All put in a mad and war, or garden doors. Now, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. The Bible tried to answer this question. If a man dies, shall he live again? Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27 said, It is appointed unto man to die once, and after that, the next thing is what? Judgment. Every man, it is appointed unto you to die once. And after that, the next thing is judgment. When we gather like this, in funeral services, in service of sons, it's always a time to remind us that we will not live here forever. When we gather in services like this, it's a time to remind us that one day we shall die. That one day, people may gather just as we are. People may gather on our head just as we are gathered now. And nobody knows when his or her own will be. Nobody knows when his own will happen. As we are seated here now, nobody knows who will go tomorrow? Nobody knows who will go next week. So the reason why I want us to meditate on that question and the answer that Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 gave is to remind us that now we are alive. That is the time for us to prepare for eternity. Ubuwa Ainondo Bohere I were each get on why Maka Ndu Epigabi. Makana was us in Obu the Madam War. Ia Chelegini who Uba Chipe. Ia Chelegini who is Tachineke. Since Tuesday last week, Thursday last week, Tuesday this week, and everywhere we have gone. For one program or the other, the end of Madam Obama, we odendo, papai, eldai, senator, and imudebiri. The man there were different types of words may describe his life. Before this, the man there was life of integrity. Some described him as an honest man. Before this, described him as a straightforward person. Some described him as a kind person. Some say that he is forthright, transparent. Some described him as a true Christian, a state man, a family man, a true Presbyterian, an elder of the church. And everything of Uba Mani Lendi Madubara, when ke washe, when ke we paint yoku, Uba chigi wa gawo, ole odi Uba Mama aga bani elusigi, Uba chai ge zukotua ne elusigi, kedi haga na akoma kage. I will end by saying, let us live our lives in such a way that when people will be talking about you. They will not be lying. They will not be lying. We had a burial program somewhere. People came out and were saying wonderful things, wonderful things. The first son of the man came out and said, Is he my father you people are talking about? I'm telling you a true story. Not long ago, there was a, a burial program. People came out and were saying he's a wonderful man, he's a loving man, he's a this, he's a that. 
the first one came and said, it's not my father you people are talking about. Oh. He said, all these things you people are saying, it's not my father. He said, my father is the opposite of what you people are talking. So everyone here, as you live your life, live your life to the glory of God. Live your life to serve God. Live, to, live your life in peace with your neighbors, in peace with humanity, so that when it will be your own time, you will answer God cheerfully. May God help us to live for him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Oh, when the saints go marching on, when the saints go marching on, Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching home oh when the saints go marching home when the saints go marching home lord i want to be in the number when the saints go marching home. Will you be there? I will be there. You will be there? I will be there. When the saints go marching in. Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching. As we bow our hearts and our heads in prayer, if you are in this way, keep service. And you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. You know that you are still living in your sin. You know that you are still living serving your flesh. You are still living serving other gods. Use this opportunity of this way keep service to repent of your sins. Everybody bow your heads, bow your hearts, confess your sins, ask God to forgive you. Our daddy, Elder Sinatan Yimude, was a true child of God. Let this service of song in his honor draw you to Christ. Draw you closer to God. Take one minute now, everybody. Ask God to forgive you of all your sins. Ask God to cleanse you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Rochineke kojira bara Jesus Christ sacha age Rochineke ko meju ogini ke nke monso Rochineke ko nyegi ke igeji feya nandu gini ile ko ga bumbo pike ga na be Jesus ga bia Kristo na ndige ke ta leze everybody open your mouth and pray just one minute ask God to cleanse you to wash you to fill you with his spirit and give you the power to live for him, to serve him, even to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father, we commit every one of us into your hands. We pray that the words we have received this evening will pursue us to think over our lives to meditate on the way we are living. We pray, O oh God, that you will help us to amend our ways, to love you, to serve you, to live for you all the days of our lives. Help us, O oh God, that on that 
resurrection day, we shall not be cast away from your presence, but that we shall be welcomed even unto eternal blessedness, all to your own glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let somebody shout a big amen. amen. Let the children of God shout a louder amen. amen. Now, it is raining. It's raining. And so we cannot call anybody out. But we are going to pray for the family. Wherever they are. I give prayer. My now Munai Ndezinulo Papa Senator Elder Anim Chuku Ude Ana Gipere Zinula Ebere Tam Polite Right Reverend Aquari Abong Mamuru no but okay quick but in a zinola Hallelujah I there is no lie there. We are praying for the family. Please, every member of the family, wherever you are, can you stand on your feet? I are not to like so like that. We gift. Thank you for the man called Anjimude. A great gift to us in Manili. A great gift to us in this village. A great and precious gift to us in Akeze Ezoko Yuri Kingdom. We return all the praise. We return all the glory to you and to you alone in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are handing over this great family to you. Your grace, your goodness and mercy have been with the family. Our prayer is let this grace continue in the name of Jesus Christ. The amazing grace that was on the man, Elder Chief Senator Ayimude, the grace that I have seen him through in all the chances and challenges of his life, this grace has been with him. Wherever he has been, this grace has been with him. That we pray and ask you, let this grace continue with this family in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Solomon, the son of David, pray and ask, there is no one who lives and does not sin. If your people sin against you, forgive them. That we ask that whatever sin that has been committed by your servant, show him mercy. Whatever sin that has been committed by this family, show them your mercy. Forgive them, cleanse them, purify them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are asking you 
to console the family. We are praying, oh God, that this moment of bereavement, that you be with each and every one of them. Be with the wife, oh God. May you strengthen her. May you encourage her. May you uphold her by your victorious right hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit all the children into your dear hand. Father, may you see them through in this life. God Almighty, we are releasing upon them the grace, the oil of generational appreciation in the name of Jesus Christ. Elder Chief Senator Aimude has lived to be great in this life. Father, we pray that the grace of greatness will remain in this home in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That in every generation, in every generation, the offspring of Aimude will always rise to be great in the name of Jesus Christ. May they possess the mountains, global mountains, generational mountains, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are handing them over to you. May you keep them, may you protect them, may you preserve them, in the name of Jesus Christ. So we pray for the entire family, the nuclear family and the extended family. Lord, we pray for the UOG community. Lord, we pray for Akeze Ezoko, your kingdom. May you console us. Father, you have removed from us a great son. Lord, by tomorrow, we'll be planting his body, O oh God, in the mother earth. Lord, as we plant him, may Enimude resurrect. Father, we pray, O oh God, that the greatness in him will resurrect. Lord, the opportunities you have given him be, be resurrected. Lord, the privileges in life that you have bestowed on him will resurrect. Lord, that very soon, our case they will have great sons and daughters in the likeness of Enimude with the opportunities, the grace, the privileges you have given him over. Lord, that many sons and daughters will rise in the likeness of Enimude to be great in Akeze land, to be great in their family, to be great in Iyoji, to overtake the mountains of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are asking for the grace of multiplication in this home, the grace of increase in this home. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Lord's prayer. That in heaven, hallowed be your kingdom come. We be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them. Deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Because um, the announcement from the side of the church, Bona, I gave you the service by 11 o'clock. We believe we will have a clement weather. I don't know. But when you have family, you know, Mara. I don't know what announcement family chori me because I have the microphone. Because Kai Bilioto Kwamara. Kai Bilioto. Hallelujah. Let us say the grace together, everybody. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Good night, everybody. Um, when this rain stops,
Mira Pose. I am with a 40 minutes praise and worship session. My Mira Pose also. So, so and the camera announced on your wall, it got been at church by 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Good night once again. <laughs>